Good morning, church family. Pastor Amber here. I hope you are having a great morning so far. I just want to talk to you today a little bit about time, which is something that I have struggled with and how I spend my time in creating moments. And so a couple of weeks ago, actually before this pandemic happened, I was reading in my Bible and I was reading in Luke and I read a uh, story. It's actually a parable whenever Jesus is talking about the farmer scattering the seed. And as I was reading it, I was instantly convicted by taking that, just simply taking the seed out of there and replacing it with time. And so I'm going to read the passage to you today. You can find it in Luke 8, and I'm going to read from 5 until 8. A farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds ate it. Other seed fell among the rocks. It began to grow, but the plant, the plant soon wilted and died for lack of moisture. Other seed fell among the thorns and grew up with it, and it was choked out. Still other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. So whenever I read through that and I replaced time with seed, then I was convicted of how I was spending my time. Was I spending it wisely or was I not? And I've kind of always had the struggle with busyness. And so at the time, whenever I was first reading this, I was struggling with how I was spending my time with whenever I was at home, whenever I was out. And it seemed that a lot of times I was busy. And so I was convicted by that. Well, now we have all of this time. And I have to say that I'm still struggling with the same thing, like how to spend my time wisely. Wisely. And in that time, create memorable moments, create good moments. And so I really wanted to talk to you guys about that today. And for you guys just to read that passage and you guys to think about how you are spending your time right now. And uh, I was thinking about in Ecclesiastics, it talks about in uh, chapter 3, verse 4, it says, it's a time for everything. This, the whole passage is a time for everything. And right now, we all have time. So um, it was talking about in verse 4, a time to cry, a time to laugh, a time to grieve, and a time to dance. And so whenever I first read that, it was a time to cry. I was thinking about how a lot of times we just want to pretend like to our kids or to our friends or the people around us that we're all okay. And um, maybe someone in your life is struggling right now and they need to know that you are kind of feeling the same way right now too and that it's okay to cry. And I feel like speaking with parents, it's okay for your kids to see that you have emotions too. So don't be afraid of that. There is a time for that and you can show them that there's a healthy way that that can be done. But there's a time to laugh. And so whenever I was reading about that, actually last week I was uh, filming things for Bloom students and there was a moment where we were filming and um, I did, I, I pranked my brother and on the film and we all thought it was hilarious. We were laughing, we were laughing hysterically and there was a moment where all of our fear, all of our worries, they just went away. And I would say for a good two to three hours after laughing that hard with just two or three people in the room that we probably didn't think about what's going on in the world for a good two or three hours. It was like it was good medicine for us. So I think that whenever we're, t we're thinking about our time and creating moments and um, memorable ones that we need to be laughing. We need to be laughing with our friends. We need to be laughing with our kids. We need to la be laughing with our parents, our grandparents. And then it says a time to grieve. And right now I know that a lot of us are grieving something. We're grieving maybe um, we didn't get to have the, the graduation or we may not know if we're going to have the graduation. Maybe uh, we had a wedding planned and it didn't go the way that you expected it to. Maybe you had a sleepover with uh, your friends if you're younger and um, that didn't get to happen. And maybe you were supposed to come back from spring break and see your friends and see your teachers and that is not happening. So we're all kind of grieving right now and I think that it's okay to recognize that and I think it's okay to talk to people about it. Right now we need to be connected more than ever. So I say if you are grieving right now, know that it's normal and know that it's okay to call a friend and talk to a friend about it and you may help them just as much as they can help you. And also a time to dance. And so I think that uh, kind of with laughter, I think taking these moments and creating fun moments that we can remember that during this pandemic that we took time to laugh, 
we took time to dance and we took time to have fun. So I just wanna challenge you guys with that. Right now we have a lot of time and in our time, how are we spending it? Are we creating these memorable moments? Are we creating moments that are going to bring laughter, gonna bring joy, and going to bring happiness. And I just challenge you guys to do that and to think about that. And if you guys can go ahead and post, what kind of things are you doing that's gonna bring laughter to your home? What kind of things are you doing that is going to bring joy to your home? Help us out, because we need to hear them just as much as we need to be telling you guys. We need to hear back from you as well. And I wanna end with a quote that I heard, um, or that I read actually, and it has stuck with me, and I hope that it can um, stick with you. It says, you are not stuck at home with nothing to do. You are safe at home with something to do. So right now, guys, we have time. How are we gonna spend it? And how are we gonna create those wonderful moments with our family and our friends? All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for every single person who is watching online right now. I pray right now that they are blessed while they are at home, God. I pray for safety over good health for them, God. I, I pray right now that in these moments that we are able to create great memories, memories that we're gonna remember for a lifetime, God, that um, you help us to be wise with our time and that you help us to remember your good word. God, we thank you for all of this. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, family, I love you and I cannot wait to see you again.